Hey everyone, I am going to demonstrate for you today how to micro cut your pills. So this is a method that you can use to micro taper off of your medication if the liquid uh, titration method doesn't work for you or if for whatever reason maybe a compound isn't working for you or you can't access a liquid version uh, that's made by the pharmaceutical company. Part of the reason why we do our measurements this way in, in weighing the pills uh, and, and cutting is because pills aren't distributed evenly throughout with medication. So if you're just kind of willy-nilly breaking apart your pills or cutting off bits that kind of look like a quarter of your pill, that's, you're, there's no guarantee that you're getting an accurate dose. Um, unless you're cutting along a score line. And as you go through this process, as you're reducing your dose by quite a bit, if you need to break your pills in half along that manufacturer score line, you can do that. All right, so before you get started, you're going to need to make sure that you do have access to a scale that measures 2.001 in grams or one milligram. You're also going to need a nail file, a calendar, some sort of pill container or pill sorter, and obviously you're going to need to have your taper plan in place. Once you do have that scale, you are going to want to learn ahead of time how to care for it. You're going to want to make sure that scale is clean because we're measuring in milligrams, so any little piece of debris or anything can throw off your measurements. You're also going to want to watch the video that I'm going to post below on how to calibrate, just so you can occasionally calibrate that scale to keep it fairly accurate. And before you actually start cutting your pill as you are doing it, you're gonna to need to give your scale time to warm up that could be anywhere from 30 seconds to a few minutes. All right, so let's go into the actual math of a micro cutting taper. First of all, I'm going to demonstrate a taper plan that is a 10% per month reduction. And then I will show you how to modify this taper plan so that you can make it work for you. This is the formula for the reduction that you want to make in this case, with what I'm demonstrating, it will be a reduction every other day. You're going to take the weight of your pill, multiply it by 10%, and divide that by 15. For my pill, it weighs 0.256 grams. When I multiply that by 10 and divide it by 15, I get 0 0.0017 grams. Now, you probably would round that number up, but for the sake of... Um, easiness in this video with the math. I'm just going to round down to 0 0.001. Next, you're going to take that number, the 0 0.001 in my case, and subtract that from the original weight of your pill. In my case, that's going to leave me with 0.255. That is the number that I want to get to when I shave my pill. I want it to weigh 0.255 grams. Once you figure out what your daily reduction or every other day reduction or however it's going to look for you is, this is where the calendar comes into play. It's a really good idea to just, you can print one off really cheap or, or just get some, any kind of a calendar and mark down what your reductions are going to look like. So on day one, my pill is going to weigh 0.255 because I'm reducing by 0 0.001. On day three of my taper, because I'm going to do that for two days, I want my pill to weigh 0.254 and the same thing with the next day. On day five, you can see I'm going to be making a different reduction, 0.253. Then two days later, 0.252. Anyway, you can see kind of the pattern there and it can be a little tricky. So this, this will help you keep track of your reductions. And then I wouldn't say fill out an entire nine months worth at this point because you never know if you're going to have to hold or what things might come up that might change. So filling out a, a couple of weeks to a month ahead of time is plenty. Okay, so once you've figured out that calculation um, and you figure out what you need to cut from your pill on day one of your micro taper, um, you're just going to take your nail file and you're just going to give it like a, a little swipe. So I'm just going to give it like one swipe here just to try that out and see where that's at. And I wanna to get to 0.255 for today. All right, I am at exactly 
0.25 that was great so you can see it doesn't take much because maybe i'm not going to have access to a scale all the time or because this is kind of time consuming what i'm going to do is measure out seven days worth of pills so i'll measure two pills at 0.255 for two days and then i'm going to measure two pills at 0.254 for two days right and then go on like that so i have it kind of for the week if you're good with doing a 10 percent per month reduction and that's all the math that your brain can handle uh, then you can just kind of skip this part and move on to the next part but if for any reason you want to alter your taper rate or the number of days that you're actually making reductions then i just wanted to show you what that math would look like really quick if you wanted to say taper at a slower rate by half you could change this number right here to five percent instead of ten and that would give you about a 20 month taper you could go a little faster and change that number to 20 and cut your taper in half to make it about a four and a half five month taper and reduce by 20 percent if you wanted to taper every single day if you feel your scale is really accurate or it just it's easier for you that way then by all means just change that number in the denominator to 30 and that would give you your daily reduction amount you could also change that number so that you're not reducing as frequently but you're still reducing at the same rate every month and change that number to four and basically you'd only be reducing once a week if you did that i hope that's understandable for you i know math can be a little tricky especially with a benzo brain but that should generally give you the idea and if you have any questions you can post those below all right now we're going to move on so that is what you would need to do if you're only dosing one time a day but some of you might be dosing more than once um, in that case there are two ways of doing this the first thing you can do is just measure however many pills you're going to be taking throughout the day in my case since one pill weighs 0.256 i'm just going to double that and i get to point um 512. I'm going to plug that into my equation and now I know that I need to reduce by 0 0.003 milligrams or grams excuse me on my first day which means that I'm going to need to put both pills on the scale and then I'm going to only take one of those pills off and I'm going to give it a shave until I get to 0.509. Um, the other way that you can do this, if you feel um, that you don't want to be um, getting rid of one of your doses, because if you do this, what's going to happen is eventually you're going to be down to one pill. And so you're dropping a dose along the way. But if you feel that you need to maintain a consistent dose throughout the day, what you can do is measure each pill individually. Just to explain this a little more visually, because I know how much our benzo brains suck at doing math sometimes. If you are, say, dosing twice a day, you're using two pills a day, um, you, what you would do is calculate it out exactly the same as you would with one pill, but you're going to change that taper rate and you're going to cut it in half. So I'm going to cut it from 10% in my case to 5% because I'm actually cutting two pills. And if I were to cut two pills at 10%, I'd be reducing by 20% a month instead of 10%. But I want to keep that taper rate the same. If you were cutting three pills a day, again, it would look the same. But you would cut that taper rate from 10% to 3.33%. That way you're still actually tapering total at a rate of 10% per month. Another little trick that you can use to change up your taper rate is to keep your calculations exactly the same but to change when you are reducing. So because um, this formula calculates for reducing every two days, if you wanted to cut that in half, you would simply only reduce every four days rather than every other day. So I hope that makes sense to you guys. This is probably a good time to mention that there are going to be some inaccuracies in this. Um, it's, it's a very accurate method compared to many others, but the pills aren't all going to weigh exactly the same. Even the pharmaceutical companies don't do this exactly. And depending on your 
scale, uh, there may be variation in measurements up to, uh, let's say, around five milligrams or so. So just so you know, this isn't going to be perfect, but the idea is for you to make these small little reductions throughout the month that eventually equal up to 10%, and that's good enough. Most people don't worry about being crazy super accurate with this. Maybe they'll measure their pills and kind of average out the average weight of their pills or something like that. Um, but if you want it to be just ridiculously accurate because your OCD brain can't handle those little variables or you have one of those really expensive scales that can measure that accurately, you can use this formula here. This means that you would weigh your pill every single day and then you would multiply that, um, you know, times 10% divided by 30, right? Uh, then take that and multiply that by whatever reduction you're on. So if you're reducing every single day, day one, you would multiply it by one. Day two, you would multiply it by two. Um, but remember, you're multiplying it by the number of reduction that you're on, not necessarily the days because you might hold or things might change. And then you take that number and you subtract that from the weight. But if that's, you know, that's like really if you just want to be super crazy accurate and most people really don't do that and just know that if you do this and you are also um dosing more than once a day you're going to have to do that with every single pill every single day all right and if you do that you probably might need uh, a few or more of these or a different way to keep track of those doses but in essence this is micro cutting so i hope you find this useful and um, you know, just pop any questions down below and I'll be happy to answer them. I'm also gonna post a link to um, where you can f get access to uh, some scales that do measure um, down to that many decimal points. And I wish you guys the best of luck and a full recovery.